Today we are going to talk about construction claims. So what is a construction claim? The Oxford Dictionary defines a claim as being a demand for something considered once due. In the construction industry, the word claim has negative connotations and it usually results in strained relationships between various parties due to accusations and counter-accusations. Unfortunately, construction claims are becoming more and more frequent, especially during a recession, and it is critical that the contracting parties adopt a proactive and positive approach rather than a reactive and negative approach to claims. Construction claims are usually submitted by contractors or subcontractors for recovering additional sums of money or for extending the original duration of the contract due to delay or disruption caused to their works by the acts of the employer and or other neutral events, for example adverse weather, delays by authorities, etc. It should be noted that claims from the developers and construction consultants are also quite common. A claim has to be identified and proven pursuant to the pertinent terms and conditions within the contract agreement between the parties. Contract terms may be incorporated into contract agreements or it may be implied by way of statutory laws of the country. To conclude, a contractual claim must be based on the express or implied terms of the contract. Now some contracting parties believe that the non-inclusion of a claims clause or procedure within the contract agreement would protect them from claims. However, this is not true. The civil code and our common laws of most countries provide adequate protection to the contracting parties. It is better to have a claims clause or procedure within the contract agreement as this will regulate the claims and oblige both parties to deal with the claim situation in a proactive manner. For example, sending claims notifications within 28 days, keeping contemporary records, making determinations, etc. In the absence of such a procedure, the parties could raise a claim at the end of the project and this could cause serious problems. On a construction project, claims can occur between any of the contracting parties, for example, the client and the contractor, the contractor and his subcontractors, the client and his consultants, etc. Claims on construction projects generally relate to the following. Claim for an additional time to complete the works in order to get relief from liquidated damage uh, excuse me, liquidated damages or penalties. This is a claim from the contractor to the employer or from the subcontractor to a contractor. Second, claim for additional monies for delay and or disruption to the project works. Again, this is a claim from the contractor to the employer or vice versa or from the subcontractor to a contractor. Claim for acceleration of the project works. This is a claim again from the contractor to the employer or from the subcontractor to a contractor. 4. General claims from the employer to the contractor for knock-on delays, disruption from the latter to other contractors working on the same project. So there are several ways claims can arise on jobs. So that was a very brief introduction to construction claims. Thank you for watching.